Hey, it's Dave here with another episode of Dave Dev TV. I'm coming to you today, not from my normal recording location, because I really wanted to get this video out to you, because I think it's really important. So what happened was I saw this video from last year at this Ethereum convention of sorts. And what struck me as interesting was one of the talks talked about this two-party escrow system that you can implement with Ethereum that could very well change the way we do transactions in like an eBay type scenario where you have like a buyer and a seller that don't really know each other that well, or even if they do, um, utilizing the Ethereum blockchain, you can really do this transaction in a, in a secure, trustable way without having to rely on a, on a third party escrow service such as PayPal or another type of middleman. So the video explains it very well, so I encourage you to go and watch it, but uh, I think it's so important that uh, I'll try to do my best to explain it myself. Uh, so here's the gist. So let's say you're on eBay, your name is Bob, and you're trying to sell a lawnmower. lawnmower. Let's say after whatever, a bidding war of sorts, um, you can you end up selling the lawnmower, the, or the winning bidder uh, wins it for $100, and that's Joe. He's the highest bidder. So in a normal transaction, Joe would just send $100 to Bob, and then Joe is trusting that Bob will actually send him the lawnmower. Um, but... So that, that's just one possible shortfall, because if Bob doesn't send it, then uh, Joe's out $100, so that's bad. And if Bob does send it, but, uh, and then Joe sends the money, but then Joe asks for a refund, and because it's not what he expected, so he sends it back, but it, the box comes back empty, for example, or the lawnmower is completely broken from what was sent. So there's a lot of potential for... Um, for fraud and such in these types of transactions online where the two parties don't really know each other that well. And this happens all the time and over the course of many years with eBay. So that's why I think this is really powerful, what you're about to see. So what Ethereum does is they have a blockchain of, of basically calculations that are taking place across many nodes throughout the world. So everyone's got this blockchain miner machine running on their computer um, there's currently thousands of nodes around the world and they're all synced up so that if there's a transaction it gets propagated across the network everyone agrees that the transaction took place what have you um, actually that, that's really the premise for Bitcoin which is pretty cool in and of itself but Ethereum took it a step farther and it lets you do more complicated things such as run software that all these different nodes around the world can confirm that software does what it says it's gonna do. So basically, the long and short of it is this. Bob can deploy an Ethereum, Ethereum contract to the, to the Ethereum blockchain. And this contract is a piece of code that says Bob and Joe are, are basically I'm selling this item and anyone who wants to buy it has to use this contract to buy it with me. And the way the contract works is, say you're the, the person who's buying it, you don't send $100 to Bob. You send $100 times two, so you send $200 to the contract. So now this contract that's just an autonomous piece of software is holding your $200. Meanwhile, once Bob sees that, the, that Joe won the, uh, the bidding war for, two, for $100, Bob will also send twice that amount, which is $200, also to the contract. So now the contract is at $400 of balance. So once that money is in there, um, there's $400, then Bob will send the lawnmower to Joe, and then Joe has to either confirm 
that the transaction was successful or he wants a refund. There's two options for Joe. If Joe confirms it, he'll take back his extra 100, leaving 100 in the pot, and then Bob will take back his 200 plus the 100 from the purchase. So basic escrow transaction, except it's fully automated based on software. Alternatively, Joe can ask for a refund, in which case he can't just take back his money. He has to first send back the lawnmower and have Bob confirm that the lawnmower came back okay before releasing the funds back to Joe. So this is all accomplished using software, all accomplished using functions that you can call on this contract. And both parties, all they need to do is trust that this code does what it says it's going to do. So it's kind of like the coders become the lawyers in this situation. But um, I don't know, I think this is eventually going to become a very powerful tool for at least simple transactions like this one. So again, go watch the video. They explain it much better than me. But I think it's so important that I did it again here. And so what we're going to do in this series is we're going to actually make this contract and make a front end so that people in an eBay type scenario can deploy this contract and then do this transaction. So there's a, um, so there's a framework out there called Truffle put out by this company Consensus uh, where they basically made a front-end framework for deploying, testing, um, and creating different contracts for Ethereum. So this is what we're going to use. And you could just simply install it by doing npm install dash g truffle. Um, I already did that here. Um, yeah, so, now, so once you do that, then you could use truffle inside the command line to, to work on your project. Um, but yeah, for now, just take a look at the video, maybe install Truffle, take a look at their tutorial to, to, do, their, um, to do their sample project. So what, what happens when you install Truffle, you can, uh, you can run this command here um, called Truffle init, and that will create a sample project with um, actually a sample coin project. So one of the things you can do with Ethereum is you can make your own cryptocurrency. So the example project is how to do that. Um, but I don't think that's that important because uh, I think Bitcoin is already dominating and Ether, which is the currency of Ethereum, will also dominate once this takes off. But uh, so I'm not really keen on these, these types of uh, alternative coins. But, uh, but there's a lot of power in Ethereum because you could do these types of contracts and these transactions. So stay tuned and we'll take a look into it.